What's up, YouTube? It's JB Thick bringing you another beer review. This one's close to heart and close to home. Got the uh, Terrapin Beer Company's Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Definitely up my alley. Just the kind of thing I'm always looking for. Uh, they're out of Athens, Georgia. So, got the sweet hat to uh, get in character. It's where I'm from. Not Athens, but you know. Sweet GA. Uh, on the bottle it says, uh, The Terrapin Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout proudly uses cocoa nibs and shells from Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company to give this beer its great chocolatey taste. It's utterly delicious. How cute. Uh... It's a seasonal, seasonal brew of 2010, which, I mean, I guess get it while you can. I know once this Sixers out, I'm going right back up there to get me another. On Beer Advocate, um, it gets an A-, minus, an excellent review out of six reviews. The bros have yet to touch on this one, which they should. It's a, I've had it before. It's a great beer. It's a uh, milk slash sweet stout, falls in that category. It's got a 6% ABV, and it's, uh, it's a winter brew. So, only fitting that I have my winter tulip glass promotes head retention. But, we're going to crack right into this, because uh, I'm tired of waiting a little bit. Sweet smoke action. I don't know if y'all saw that. Clean cap, by the way. Nothing going on. But, for the poor. Not much head. Like, maybe a pinky head. But it's really dark, just like what you'd expect from something that has chocolate in the name, much less chocolate and milk. It's really sweet smelling, but it also has that stout smell. But you can kind of smell the roastiness. Uh, not too much, but before this head gets away, I'm going to dive right into it. My mind. That head is. It's got the concentration of the roastiness, but the body is as smooth as chocolate milk, which is maybe why they named it that. I'm not sure. Uh, the chocolate taste is more of an aftertaste. It's got all the makings of, like, say, a Guinness Extra Stout or a, even a Guinness Draft. Without the, the slightly watery feel. It's it's so smooth, yet without being watery. <clears throat> I don't know if that's that's fault, but we'll see. <clears throat> that is outstanding. It's you can definitely taste some roastiness. And the chocolate is is great in that. It has it's not so much a chocolate milk type flavor. I mean, kind of, now that I think about it. It's kind of reminiscent of, like, say, <laughs> I don't know, it sounds silly, but like a Nesquik. You know, how that has a different taste than, you know, just Hershey's and milk. Or maybe even a Yoohoo in beer form, which just, that sounds like a winner in itself. But I'm going to top this bastard off. He doesn't like sitting in the bottle alone. Likes to him with me. Now this is one of the more fitting beers for my taste that I've ever had. Um, now when I had it before, I had it way too cold. Something was going on with my fridge. Somebody thought it would be cute to crank it up to the uh, the highest possible level, but. It was so cold, I couldn't really even taste it. It just kind of hurt. But this, having it at 
you know, a really cool temperature. I don't know the temperature exactly, but it just brings out all the flavors. The roastiness, there's a slight coffee hint. But that is an amazing, definite two thumb up beer. I'd give it, I'd go so far as to say it's a 98 out of a one out of a hundred. It is an A plus beer for sure. Uh, I'm probably going to post a review on Beer Advocate. <laughs> my, uh, my username on there is Hobbs as well, same as YouTube. Uh, check it out on there. I'll have that up within the next couple days. But you guys stay righteous. Definitely pick up this beer while you can. I mean, we you know we got some time. Winter's only just begun. But if you're in the area, check out the Douglasville Bottle Shop. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on the name. I'll put it in the description for sure, and the address and all that. But that's where I picked this up. It was recommended to me by a great guy, uh, and they know their shit. So check them out. Give them a nice plug. But you guys have a great night, and, uh, you know, enjoy what you're sipping on tonight, bros. Take it easy.